Hey y'all, in today's video I am going to show you guys how I keep my scalp moisturized and um, it's pretty much very basic and very um, old school. I don't do anything new or expensive and because I know there's a lot of um, lock products or moisturizers out there. But um, definitely if you are in the beginning stages of your sister lock journey, you don't want to play too much with um, oils or any products that can cause you to have slippage or have your locks unravel. Um, so I've been using the same product that my first loctician told me to use. <laughs> and even though I'm um, more than a year in now, I still use it to moisturize my scalp just because my hair is not fully locked yet. And I don't want to take any chances still. Even though I don't think I'll have any slippage at this point in my journey, but you never know. So, um, as far as like moisturizing my scalp, I still use Sulfur 8. <laughs> um, if you are having dry scalp or, you know, severe dandruff in your sister lock journey and you're in the beginning of your journey, go pick you up some Sulfur 8. I got it on Amazon because I couldn't find it in my local um, Walmart. So, um, if you don't have, if you have Amazon Prime, then just get it from Amazon. But yeah, so this is what I use. So pretty much um, I just separate my hair into sections and I just put it right directly on my scalp. You see that white patch right there? I have some dry scalp. I actually haven't done this that much. I've done it maybe five times, if that. So, like, I know in the beginning of my journey, I was having, like, around month four, I started having dry scalp, and that's when I used it, and then it worked for a while, and I didn't need it for a couple months, so I noticed my dry scalp has come back, so I am going to go ahead and moisturize it. So, I pretty much just... And I try not to get it on my hair, of course. Let's get in there. And after you have um, put it all over your scalp, all over your hair, um, don't forget to massage it through to make sure that it went all over. That is definitely important. I can tell that my hair just really needed that. It just... My scalp just feels like really good. It does. It feels good. I needed that. I want to let you guys know that I do do this um, maybe a couple days before I wash my hair. Um, just because I don't do it after I wash my hair because I'm not going to wash my hair for another two weeks. And I don't like that gunk build up type of thing going on with the like grease and then if I Okay, so I'm back. I know it's a different day um, to show you guys how I keep my hair moisturized. Because I showed you guys how I keep my scalp moisturized, but I didn't tell you how I keep my hair moisturized. So I use um, rose water. I don't know what everyone else uses. I um, use a spray bottle like this. I put some water in it. 
and then um, I put a little bit of this so you're not gonna want to put a lot I guess you use discernment um, what I did was I rubbed some of the rose water in my fingers the first time I got it to kind of see how much I wanted to use and from there I was able to kind of get an idea of like the consistency and I use like this much of it so I fill my water bottle up to about like here and then I probably put about that much of the rose water if that um, and then I also put lavender oil and um, a, a couple drops of lavender oil and a couple drops of rosemary oil um, rosemary oil is really good if you're having like dry itchy scalp and it also is good for stimulating hair growth and um, lavender is um, a good moisturizer it's good for the hair as well and um, it helps with um, just healthy hair and just adding a little bit of moisture to your hair so I like both I just add a couple drops I say a couple drops because I have the pure um, rosemary and lavender oil so I'm not sure if you guys have some essential oils I got this off of Amazon it came like with a box full of different essential oils I use it for my diffuser as well and all of the other million health benefits that both have so I use them for a lot of different things so it's not just for hair you can use it for face you can use it for just aromatherapy there's a lot of things so but I did put um, like a couple drops of each one of these just for all the other benefits that come with it and that's what I have my I have my spray bottle that is, as you can see, you can see the oils kind of in there, um, composed of all of those items together. They work perfect. So it's kind of like my perfect little ingredients. I finally found what works for me. Of course, you have to find what works for you, but this is just a suggestion and I love it. So that is pretty much it. That's how I keep my hair moisturized, especially after washing um, your hair with the Sister Lock shampoo, especially. Um, make sure that you want to put the moisture back in because that does dry it out and it's hard to separate your locks when it's that dry so I always try to spray some of that first and then um, separating it again before doing anything always helps um, I just washed my hair yesterday and um, got a retype today and so I'm about to do my 14 month update and I realized I saw this video sitting in the queue and I forgot that oh snap I didn't finish this video so anyway well thank you guys for watching I hope this was helpful um please go ahead and comment and let me know what you use to keep your hair moisturized and your scalp moisturized I would love to hear your feedback and what you all are doing all right bye